In this video, we're going to talk about how to factor out the greatest common factor, or the GCF. So let's start with the first example. We have a binomial, which consists of two terms, 12x and negative 20. How can we take out the greatest common factor? So what is the highest number that goes into 12 and 20? 12 and 20, they're multiples of 2 and 4, but 4 is greater than 2, so 4 is going to be the greatest common factor of 12 and 20. 12x divided by 4 is 3x. Negative 20 divided by 4 is negative 5. So this is our answer. The GCF that we factored out was 4. Now, let's try the next example. So what is the greatest common factor that we can take out? 6 and 8, I mean 6 and 18, they're both multiples of 6. So we can take out a 6. Now, both of these terms contain at least one x variable. So we can take out an x. Each of these terms are divisible by 6x. Six x squared divided by six x is x. Eighteen x divided by six x is positive three. So this is the answer. It's six x times x plus three. Now what is the GCF for the next one? Fourteen and thirty five are multiples of what number? Seven can go into fourteen and thirty five. Here we have an x squared, here's an x. So we can take out at least one x out of the two. So the GCF is seven x. 14 x squared divided by seven x, that's gonna be two x. Negative 35 x divided by seven x, that's going to be negative five. So that's the answer. Let's try another similar example. So let's say we have 36 x to the 5 minus 63 x cubed. What's the GCF in this case? The highest multiple, I'm mean 36 and 63. What is the highest number that goes into both? Both of those numbers are divisible by 3, and they're divisible by 9. So 9 is going to be part of the GCF. Now looking at these two, the smaller of them is x cubed. So x cubed is going to be part of the greatest common factor. Now if we take 36 x to the fifth power and divide it by our GCF, this is going to be 36 divided by 9 is 4. x to the 5 divided by x cubed, we need to subtract the exponents. So we're going to get 4x squared. That's going to go in here. Next, we need to divide this by the GCF to get the next term inside the parentheses. So if we take negative 63x cubed and divide it by the GCF, these two will cancel. Negative 63 divided by 9 is negative 7. So we're going to have a minus 7 inside here. So that's how we can factor out the greatest common factor in these problems. Now let's move on to the next example. Try these two problems. Let's say we have 2x squared minus 8x plus 10. and also 27x to the fifth power plus 36x cubed minus 45x squared. So go ahead and factor these expressions by pulling out the GCF. So here we have a trinomial with three terms. What we can do is take out a 2. 
all of the coefficients are divisible by 2. So that's going to be the GCF, the greatest common factor. 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared. Negative 8x divided by 2 is negative 4x. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we have a polynomial with three terms, which is called a trinomial. Now what can we do at this point? It doesn't look like we could factor this trinomial, so we're going to leave it the way it is. In order to factor it, we need to find two numbers that multiply to 5 but add to negative 4. And that's not possible. Two numbers that multiply to positive 5 are negative 1 and negative 5, but they add up to negative 6. The other option is positive 1 and positive 5, which adds to positive 6, so we can't factor this trinomial. Therefore, we're going to have to leave the answer that way. Now for the next one, what is the GCF? Notice that 27, 36, and 45, they're divisible by 9. And looking at the smaller of these three, it's going to be x squared. So we could factor out 9x squared. 27x to the fifth divided by 9x squared. 27 divided by 9 is 3. And then 5 minus 2 is 3. So we get 3x cubed. Now, dividing these two, 36 divided by 9 is 4. x cubed divided by x squared, or 3 minus 2, that's going to give us 1. So we'll just have 4x. And then negative 45x squared divided by 9x squared. Negative 45 divided by 9 is negative 5 x squared divided by x squared, that's going to be 1. So we just get negative 5. So this is the answer for the fifth problem. Now, what would you do if you saw an example that looks like this? x times x minus 2 plus 3 times x minus 2. Go ahead and factor out the GCF. Now the GCF, the greatest common factor, is x minus 2. So when we pull it out, we only need to write it once. Now, if we take this and divide it by x minus 2, what will we get? These two will cancel, giving us just x, the stuff that we see outside here. The same is true if we divide 3x minus 2 by x minus 2. These will cancel, leaving behind positive 3. So that's going to go here. So that's how we can factor out the GCF in this particular example. Now, let's try a similar example. This time, we're going to have two variables. y times 3x minus 2, and then minus. 4 times 3x minus 2. So go ahead and factor out the GCF. So we can clearly see that the GCF is 3x minus 2. Once we factor out 3x minus 2, we're left with y. And then once we take it out in the second term, we're left with negative 4. So the answer is going to be 3x minus 2 times y minus 4. Now, based on that example, go ahead and try this one. Let's say we have 2x minus 3 times y minus 4 plus 3x plus 8 times y minus 4. So what is the GCF in this example? The GCF is the common factor. The common factor is y minus 4. And it's also the greatest common factor. So if we take out that common factor, what are we going to have left? If we factor out y minus 4, we're left with 2x minus 3. And then we have a plus. Now if we factor out y minus 4 from the second term, we're left with 3x plus 8. So that's the situation that we now have. So what we need to do at this point is combine like terms. 2x plus 3x 
that's going to give us 5x. And then negative 3 plus 8, well, that's going to be positive 5. Now, we could factor this even further. Here, we could take out the GCF, which is 5. So if we take out 5 from 5x plus 5, 5x divided by 5 is x, 5 divided by 5 is 1. And then we can just rewrite this part. So the final answer for this problem is 5 times x plus 1 times y minus 4.